Good evening, you two families. I hope that you've had a wonderful, blessed day. Grammy Nene has. I'm doing much better tonight because I can wear my reading glasses and I can see, I can see. And that is just a wonderful thing. I just hope you guys are doing good tonight and that you have tried some of these candies that I have done for you. I've gotten some wonderful comments about, about the different candies and trying them and the smells in the house and it makes me feel so good. So don't forget at some point in time to like, share, and subscribe my video. It sure does help me out. Okay, so what's on the menu for tonight is we're going to do some more two-ingredient fudges. And this is going to be the end of it. We're going to do two tonight. Because the other night, the, I think it was on day two, I showed you a two-ingredient strawberry fudge. And it was delicious. So, I have made the peanut butter fudge that we're going to make. I have made it. It tastes good. You could take it and make it beside one that you sent over the stove. And nobody is going to know the difference. I was totally shocked. Because peanut butter fudge is my favorite. And I usually make it homemade. Found the recipe. Actually, this is the, the two ingredient fudge that I started with was the peanut butter. And after that, I was, I was like, girl, let me find some more. And so you can do, uh, and I'll, I'll kind of tell you, I don't have the stuff to make the regular fudge. But if you want to make just regular chocolate fudge, you just do uh, a can of chocolate frosting and a bag of the chocolate chips and you can do semi-chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you want. It's however you want to flavor that fudge up. I would do dark chocolate because I'm a dark chocolate girl. I like the bitterness that it adds to things. It's so good. But I got an idea. I was in the store and I seen a coconut pecan and I thought, oh my goodness, how good would a German chocolate fudge be? So I've never done it. I love to do things that I've never done in front of you guys because sometimes it, it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And then if sometimes you guys have tips for me, you're watching me, you're seeing me do things. I try to, some people probably would cook it ahead of time. When, but you know, let's do it together. That's the fun. That's the fun. Part. So without further ado, let's get into this. I, I've got two bowls over here. Let me go and get them. I'm going to do something that I normally don't do. Because I've already showed you how to do a fudge with a double boiler. You, most of you guys know how to do cooking. There's gonna be a few people that are watching this that absolutely knows nothing. Double boiler has water in the bottom and you put your chocolates in another glass dish on the top and the water will steam and melt your chocolates. That's the way that I typically like to do things because I love the shine of the chocolates. It stays on it when you do it that way. Sometimes you have to be careful when you're doing the microwave, and I have issues, but we're going to do it that way tonight. So, what we're going to start out with is we're going to do, we're going to do the peanut butter one first. And this one, you wouldn't need a double boiler anyway because you're using uh, an 18 ounce jar of peanut butter, 18 ounce, and you are using uh, a 16 ounce jar of vanilla frosting. So, you're not going to need a double boiler. Now, for the other fudge, you would, you would if you wanted to melt the chocolate chip. But, we're going to do them in the microwave tonight. So, I'm going to turn you guys where you can see the microwave and you can see everything and we can cook together. Okay? Alrighty. I'm going to tell you, I had such a good day today. I was able to put makeup on my eyes. I have been, I, I am the kind of person, I don't have to have any kind of other makeup on. But, if I don't have my eyes done... I do my eyes regardless because that's where people are looking. So in the last couple of days, I haven't had any eye makeup on. And uh, so we're starting with the peanut butter. So we're going to put the whole jar in the microwave for one minute. For one minute. We're going to go right into this. this. And tonight, it's kind of nice to be in here with you guys. Oh, what? That thing was, I told you, I have problems with microwaves. I've been married to Harold for almost 15 years, and this is my fourth microwave, I believe. Fourth microwave. And then since in the, we've been in this house, we've lived here almost four years. This is the second microwave. It's because I clean it, and I'm constantly cleaning. And I, I, I wasn't thinking, and I used 
So I think that's going to be perfect. You just want it to melt enough that you can get it out of the jar. That you can get it out of the jar. And you can see it's coming out of that jar perfectly. It's just coming out so ooey and gooey. Now we're going to have to do the same thing for the white frosting. And it's a whole jar. A whole, whole jar. You've got to have that peanut butter in there. And I'm going to tell you, I'm all about doing things quick. Because if you're a candy maker uh, and you do it for for Christmas, if that's what you do for gifts to show your love for people, you usually want to give two or three different kind of things. Well, some things just take for a long time to make. So it's nice to have these shortcuts and some of the other stuff. Because, like Divinity, it takes a little while. It takes a lot of, a little bit of technique to do Divinity. And we are going to do Divinity. So let's put that in there for a minute. You see, I got every bit of that out of there. So we'll move that over there. Make sure I have everything set where you guys can see it. So, anyway, I hope you guys, like I said, are having a wonderful day. Are you baking? What are you doing? I'd like to know. I love to read the comments, and I, the ones who have subscribed to me and they comment, they know I love to talk. Like I said, you'll never be lonely with me as your friend. I am a talker. I am a big talker. And uh, I never want anybody to feel alone, and I always want everybody to feel welcome. It's a Southern hospitality thing. When, uh, when I was a kid, if somebody came over, my grandmother would go straight into the kitchen and start making a meal, and she would bring them a glass of tea or a glass of water. And that's kind of the same way I want my channel to be. I can't give you a glass of tea or a glass of water, but we can be friends. We can be friends. We can talk, and uh, I can have an ear for you, uh, whatever you need. So, let's get this out of here, and we're going to make something delicious now. This is going to pour. That's the one thing I like about this. The peanut butter just gets soft enough to come out of that, out of the, the jar, but the icing pours. And it's a little hot, so... Be careful that you don't burn yourself because I can feel the heat from that. But I've cooked for so long and I have touched so many hot things that I don't have feelings in my finger like normal. My husband will jerk back and say, what? And, the, and I can pick it right up. It doesn't cause me, oh my goodness, this smells so good. So, now we're going to mix this. We're just going to start mixing. And I want you to see over here, my friend, my sweet friend from Canada. I've got parchment paper in there. I'm so used to working with hot fudges, the hot fudge that comes out, and we always just used rental works for that. But with these, they're not as hot, so they don't, which parchment paper would be fine because parchment paper can take heat, but I don't know. You just get used to doing something that one way, and I have plenty of parchment paper. In the house. I want to show you this. Do you see how delicious that looks? So I just want to make sure that I can't see any more of the white frosting that it's completely incorporated. And it smells like somebody has cooked peanut butter fudge in this house. It is so good. I think that's good. So let me bring this pan over. We're going to pour it in this one because this one I believe makes a little bit more because of the 18 ounce jar of uh, peanut butter. And so we're gonna pour that in there. And I don't, some people that, that have a cooking channel may get upset if somebody gives them. I love getting tips. If you can't learn something, if we can't learn something from each other, what do we have? What do we have? It's a community. We're a community and uh, you know, you can teach me, I can teach you. You know, um, I don't know everything. The things I know, I know well, but the things that I don't know, and that's why I'm trying, that's one of the things about having this channel. I want to try to think by the time I get done with candy, I'm going to be done with candy. And I have to say, I have lost weight making this candy because I hadn't wanted to, I haven't really ate much of it. I gave it away. Or I put it in the freezer so that I can make my little my little giveaway things. And I've even taken some to the ladies that, at work. And one of them gave me a review on my Facebook page. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. And I'm on Instagram. 
I don't throw that stuff around too much, but since I it came up in the conversation, so we're going to set this over here, and it's going to have to, I think I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. It needs to go in the refrigerator probably for 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over in the fridge. The I'll be right back, and then we're going to start the other. Now, this other fudge I have never made before. I have never made it. But I just, when I was in there buying the ingredients for the strawberry and the, the peanut butter, I seen this can of frosting and I thought you can't go wrong we got to try it so let's try it together let's see how it comes out let's try it together and we'll see what we got first thing we need to do I always have my scissors way on the other side of the kitchen is open up this bag of chocolate chips and we're going to get these completely melted and I'm not going to steal one tonight. I'm going to leave them all in there and let them cook. I'm trying to not eat so much sugar and candy before I go to bed. I had me a little piece in the morning, or I take me a little piece to work. All right, let's put that in there. And we all love the chocolate, but the chocolate doesn't, the candy just does not like me. All right, we're going to do a minute because we don't want to overcook it. So we'll do a minute at a time until we get it melted the way we want to. And then this will go in the microwave for one minute where it'll pour out for us. And look at that. I have got peanut butter on my finger. Anyway, so I, there, there's a lady that, that uh, did a con left a comment the other day in my inspiration. And uh, she was talking about that I had inspired her to help her senior citizens neighbors and I just want to tell you this time of year we really need to be looking out for each other I'm not going to go into a whole lot of that because I have my encouragement separated because this is my cooking segment but making all of this stuff and having all of this candy and these gift ba baskets and different things like that it makes you think about the people who are living alone trying to make it on a fixed income and, uh, you know, they stand in the store and they think, well, can I afford this loaf of bread or do I get this uh, medicine or what do I get? So it is the season of giving. And so let's just try to be giving. Let's try to be really giving. Let's try to give so much that people's like, how did you do that? I don't know. But anyway, let's just try to do the best that we can for one another. We are our brother's keepers. Okay, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to stir it. But I am inspired. I am inspired by y'all's comments. I moved around. So, let's put that right there. Let's put it back in there for another minute. It's easy. I'm trying to show you some easy, easy ways to get some nice candy and cheap and, and affordable. Okay. We have got that heated up and it's ready. So let's get this in there. Let's put it in there for one minute. Doesn't that look delicious? I love German chocolate cake. With you guys tonight. Okay. And this is hot. I think I'm gonna get up for this one. I'm gonna get a pot holder because it is it's a little hotter than the other one. I'm just gonna hold it from the bottom. And I need to turn you guys back down so you can see this deliciousness that's going on down here. There we go. Let's add that in there. Oh, that is so, 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 so good. It smells good. Now, like I said, I've never made this before. I just had the idea, and somebody else could have already had the idea. But when I was walking around the store, I said, I want to make a German chocolate fudge. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I wish, I say it all the time, I wish you had smell-o-vision. I wish we had smell-o-mail. Smell-o-mail so I could send it to you. This is so good. And this stuff's hotter than the firecracker. I'm trying not to splatter because it will blister. It will blister me up good. Can you guys see that that's starting to come together and how beautiful that's looking? Get, get it all scraped up around the bowl. And what does that take me? 
two minutes for the chocolate, a minute for the frosting, and some stirring. And I think I gave a dollar thirty for the frosting, and maybe like a dollar thirty for the chips. And it's a batch of fudge. We have a batch of fudge and a little stirring. A little pan over here with some parchment paper in it. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with this stuff. I'm going to make sure that it's good and incorporated and that whenever we cut it, we're going to get a bite of that coconut and that pecan in there. Let's put this over here. We're ready to pour that out. That quick and that fast. And this will be the last of the two minute fudges. I will probably make a batch of the chocolate, the plain chocolate when I get ready to make up my gift baskets or gift buckets, <laughs> plastic tubs. Um, and, uh, but let's spread this out a little bit. Let me, this parchment's got a little bit bent there. there. Let's kind of spread this out just a little bit. And like I said, if you want your fudge a little thicker, use a smaller pan. I like mine when I'm giving it as a gift to be a little thinner so that I can kind of arrange it in a pretty way, you know. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. But what I'm going to do is we're going to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and cut it and let you see some of it. I'll be right back. Well, hi there, family. We're back, and this fudge has set up in the refrigerator. And it is ready for us to try it. So I'm going to turn you guys down here. And we're going to put it on a beautiful platter. We're going to make it pretty. And then I'm going to have to bag some of it up. And freeze some of it until I'm ready to build all of my tubs. Because as we're still building candy, I'm still thinking about tubs. And I have to be careful. This, For some reason, my tripod does not want to hold my camera like it's supposed to. So, we're going to start with the peanut butter fudge since it's the first one we put in here. See, you can tell it's very stiff. And look, no dishes. No dishes. Oh. So, let's pull this down. You guys see it? I wish you could smell it. It's smelling so good. I'm going to slice it across like this. And slice it across like this again. Man, this smells like I have been laboring. Like I have labored and labored and labored. Let's come this way. Let's go down. And you can see it is set up. I'm going to make sure I don't lose any off it. Have I lost some in this floor? Oh my goodness. My floor is clean, but I don't like to eat stuff off the floor. But I don't know. I might be tempted with some peanut butter fudge now. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to start arranging it on our beautiful platter here that we've got. I'm going to break this off the back of it. It's sticking to it just a tad bit, but it's set up good. I just got to get my finger underneath it. And just kind of set those over there. Make us a beautiful little platter. This would be nice if if we could have gatherings this year, this would be nice. That would be nice and nice. I think I might have dropped a piece of fudge in the floor. I'm not for sure, but I have a little dog. And peanut butter fudge is something that she can have. So let's just kind of put that on the platter. See, it's really good and set up. I left it in there for 45 minutes. Um, I don't know if you remember or whoever watched the peanut butter, I mean the strawberry one, but the strawberry one will take a little bit longer. It was so soft. It was just such a soft recipe. Let's put a few of these bigger pieces right here because I want to put a little bit of this German chocolate on there. So I want to take a picture of this for my Instagram later. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so put that up there. Let me get these little 
pieces because I don't want to walk them into the floor. And let's pull this out. This one might need a little bit more shine. And it might be because it has the coconut in it. But I'm going to cut a little piece of it off probably on the corner here. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get it to lift off of that parchment paper. It's not quite ready. So it was in there for, this was in there for about 45 minutes. So this was probably in there for about 35, 40 minutes. So let's just cut us a piece of it off so you guys can see. And we're going to taste it because remember, I've never had this one before. Never had it. Never made it. Oh, hello. Hey, how you doing? Okay. So let's taste this. Let's see what it tastes like. Definitely German chocolate. I wouldn't say it's German chocolate, so to speak. It's more like fudge with coconut pecans in it. It kind of lost that flavor of the the icing, the chocolate kind. But it's good. I'll make it again. I eat it again. It's really good. We tried something new. That's what life's about. Trying something new. Learning something new every day. Let's try some of this peanut butter food. Because I didn't eat supper. So I could have a bite. And I'm not going to eat a whole lot of it. I'm just going to take a bite. Because it doesn't like me this late at night. Peanut butter fudge. And I want you to look at it. It does not, not look like we slaved over a hot stove. Measuring everything. Looking at a recipe. Getting it just perfect. Proud of that. I'm proud of that. Alrighty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this day six of uh, two ingredient fudges and uh, until next time you guys have a wonderful blessed day and Grammy and I will see you I love you all and good night